Okay, here we are, uh, still shot at Marina Beach on May the 7th. We're looking at the tufts on the left wing, and uh, we're out testing to see if we now have the flow nice and organized over the uh, tip of the wing and the elevon, which we do now. It's working good, and the new pilot's cage is working out, and if everything's okay, we'll go for a couple little test hops. So hang in there, and here we go. So the wind was blowing about uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour. We're seeing that we're getting generally nice flow over the elevon, and the controls are precise for maneuvering the wing. Occasionally you'll see some turbulence near the winglet. That could be separated flow. Um, we are running a Reynolds number of about 450,000 at uh, 20 miles an hour. Uh, so it is in an area where you can see separated flow occasionally. But overall, it was good. So here we have a still of uh, me getting ready for the second test top. Uh, we didn't get any video of the first one. That's okay. It wasn't much. Uh, second one is actually interesting. And uh, you'll s we have a 360 degree view camera set up here so that we can see my feet and the airspeed at the same time. Kind of distorts the picture a lot, but we just have to put up with that. I was more interested in the data rather than looking for pretty video. Uh, we found out that the takeoff speed is right about 23 miles an hour, and I was hoping for 21. I think I can get it down to 21 if I just deploy the flaps a little bit more. These are the first uh, flights that I've used the uh, pilot suspension system uh, that I designed originally, and it hooks me into the wing overhead, and it leaves me free to swing fore and aft. Uh, worked out really well, much better than the other methods I tried. Uh, there seemed to be no coupling between my body motion and the stick. Uh, it was very easy to control the aircraft. Uh, once the glider is up to about 25 miles an hour, the stick goes into a neutral position. She's really nice to fly. Very easy to hold a constant altitude, even when I'm just a few inches uh, above the ground. And uh, I was very happy with it. I think that uh, it's really ready to go for some serious towing and some uh, high free flights as soon as I get that reserve parachute set up. Helping me out today were uh, Stefan and Trey. Uh, they were just, they're local pilots, they're super, super helpful. Shout out to them, thank you very much, wouldn't be possible without you. And you'll see them run alongside and they have their hands on the pilot's cage, but they're not guiding the aircraft. Uh, they're not actually gripping it tight, uh, just a, a loose hold, and they're there to push down on the nose when I say to stop the flight. Uh, there's a gentle slope there, and uh, with my L over D, I could have been out in the ocean uh, pretty quick. Uh, so they're just there to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, and this flight goes really fast. We're missing a few frames, which I'll explain later. So don't blink, and here we go. I'm, I'm just about ready here. In the back one, then. Again. Lifting. Okay. Nose, nose coming up? No, he's doing the nose, then we do it. Alright. Oh, okay, hold it right there. Whoa, 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 too much roll. There you go. One, uh, saw a little okay. higher? A little higher, your right wheel is hitting the saw horse. Oh, okay. Yeah, saw horse out. Okay, now I'm flying. Good, good. Okay, let me bring the nose up a little. Yeah, yeah. Woo! I'd be flying. Yeah. I've got leg straps. Look at this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Center I got down. you. Set her down. That was excellent. Nice. I had a good 30 foot glide there. Well, that went by really fast, didn't it? So I've uh, made a copy of that. Uh, flight and slowed it down by a factor of 10 so that uh, I can talk you through and tell you a little bit more about what's going on uh, during that very short but important hop. So let's take a look at that. So here we're starting out with the sawhorse is already removed 
and uh, everybody's getting in position and I start walking forward slowly. I didn't want to lunge into it and cause any weird pitch, pitch changes because my shoulders are up uh, tight to those lift straps. And once Stefan and Trey are in place, uh, I'm ready to push a little harder and I only have to add about five miles an hour to the speed of the aircraft to get it off the ground and it's lifting my feet already here and it appears that my legs are off to the side but it's really not that much a lot of that's due distortion due to the camera here I'm up my feet are off and we're gliding here I'm flying the aircraft the sticks in a neutral position I touch a little bit and take one more stride uh, and level the wing out and there you see I'm clear of the ground we're flying normally and right there you see the big transition, uh, big jump, and that's where we're missing some frames due to how the camera operates. But here is the end of the flight where we're flying nice and straightforward and uh, steady height off of the ground. And then I touch down. And rather than doing a normal landing flare, I actually push forward on the stick to dump all the lift and stick it on the ground. And Trey and Stefan are holding the nose down and holding me back, keep me from going forward. But overall, really smooth uh, flight, uh, very easy to do. Uh, I would have been uh, perfectly comfortable without uh, the runners on the side. I could pop it off the ground and put it back down just about any time I wanted. Uh, but this was safer, and safer is always better. Uh, so in the flight, we saw that it's uh, doing about 25 miles an hour. You can go back and take a look at that if you like. Uh, I think that's probably minimum flight speed, stall speeds down around 23 uh, with that flap setting. I think normal flight speed is going to be 30, 35 miles an hour. Uh, between thermals, you're probably going to fly a lot faster, 50, give or take. And I think if you're really making a fast run of it, I think this glider will easily cruise at uh, 60 or 70 miles an hour. VNE is up around 100 miles an hour, so uh, this aircraft will really be able to move once you pull up the flaps. Uh, and uh, so overall, just really thrilled with it. Uh, it was great fun and we're ready to move forward with uh, more exciting test flights. And right now we're planning on uh, heading to El Mirage to do some towing with it. I have a different set of wheels now for that. And uh, we'll be able to take it up to say 20 feet or so and I can do some uh, gentle S-turns. Uh, we can uh, fly it up and release it and see how that goes. And I can try some pitch excursions and maybe I'll have enough time to play with the flaps a little bit. We did note during ground handling at the beach that uh, the flaps are quite effective as expected. Uh, when I deploy full 90 degree flaps that would uh, pop the front of the pilot's cage up off the sawhorse, uh, which is what I want. When the flaps go down, we want the nose to come up, so they're working as designed and about the uh, proper amount. Uh, so uh, it really looks like we've sorted it all out, have the right CG position, the right uh, pilot suspension methodology, and if I just get that uh, reserve parachute uh, components all integrated together, I think we're good to go for some pretty darn exciting flights. Uh, but let me tell you, I might have only been six inches off the ground, but this was really exciting to me. Uh, this is the first time I've handled the aircraft where it really flies uh, like a nice aircraft. Uh, it felt like um, a Schweitzer 126 is kind of what it flew like. Uh, pretty nice overall. I like it. And uh, if you're young enough or if you have a strong headwind, pretty easy to land. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what it lands like with full flaps. I think that's going to get it down to a speed where uh, just about anybody could handle getting it uh, on the back on the ground. Uh, you certainly wouldn't want to land it with the flaps up, though. You'd be moving right along. Uh, so... Uh, once again, I thank you for all your support. Uh, I love all of my patrons, and please hang in there with me. And I think we've got some really, really exciting stuff to come. And as I always say, fly safe, and bye for now.